and welcome to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. And today we are getting to know more about Go Caps. We have got the coordinator and Hopper with us today. And thank you for taking the uh, drive down uh, Highway 5 to meet with us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so <clears throat> a Community Spotlight, by the way, you get to see every weekday at 8, 3, and 8 when it is the new weekly show. So we're getting to know about Go Caps today. Never heard about Go Caps until like about a week ago. So what right. is Go Caps? So Go Caps uh, actually stands for Greater Ozarks for C Centers for Professional Studies. Okay. Um, it actually started in Overland Park, Kansas, about approximately 10 years ago. Started in Springfield about eight years ago. We are an affiliate of Springfield, and this will be coming up on our fifth year. So we are in a consortium of about seven different school districts, which is Camdenton, Lebanon, Conway, Plato, Stoutland, Richland, and Lakeway. Hey, right off the top of your head right. there. Wow. <laughs> right. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we, we focus on the workforce. We try to keep our, our kids here, our students. I don't like to call them kids because they are adults, but most of them are 18 by the time they graduate. Um, and so, yeah, we just want our homegrown kids to stay here. We want them to go off to college and come back here for our workforce. Because that is an issue, especially in today's world, smaller communities, the kids tend to grow up. They want to go to the big city. They want to leave and you lose right. uh, some of the foundation of your community there. Right. And, and that's what you hear a lot that we hear from Camden students saying, oh, it's just a tourism area. I don't want to be there. I want to go to Kansas City. You hear from Lebanon students saying, oh, there's nothing there but manufacturing. But what they don't know is there's a lot of career paths that, you know, can make six figures. There's a lot of revenues that they can go into um, that they can, you know, make good money and they can stay here right here with their families. So. Okay, good. That is good to know because right. a lot of people probably don't know that. So Go Caps uh, started elsewhere, Overland Park, I think you said, right. and then you're an affiliate of the Springfield branch, but you guys are actually out of Lebanon, right? Since I'm the coordinator, I'm kind of everywhere. Okay. Um, my office is in Lebanon, but like I said, I do have uh, a little small office up here at Camden School, and then we've also got a classroom at the Lake Regional Clinic. So we're kind of a little bit of everywhere and that's the point of it you know is that we are kind of mobile and we we just try to connect and make that networking connection with the students just to show them what's possible okay and again the goal is to introduce students to possible careers industries here in the area maybe give them a taste of it right so that they can yeah, maybe they find their niche maybe they right. find their calling and they're there right um, for example, like uh, whenever a medical student comes in, you know, that's the first question we ask them is, you know, what do you think about when you think of medical? They say doctors and nurses. And it's not just doctors and nurses. A lot of them go, will go to dental, veterinarian, wound care, phlebotomist, respiratory, respiratory therapist. Um, they're just, you know, the sky's the limit. And they figure that out really quickly. Same way with engineering and manufacturing. They think, oh, it's a dirty job. It's factory work, minimum wage. They get into it and they realize... A lot of it's robots, a lot of it's yeah. working on computers, um, a lot of it's, you know, starting out at $60,000 a year, you know, so same way with business and entrepreneurs, same thing, you know, it just, it's the sky's the limit. Um, I've grown very passionate about the program, so of course I can talk forever about it, so um, I love seeing the kids' success stories. Yeah, absolutely, and the more of those, the better, probably. Right. So I first heard about Go Caps through the Camdenton Chamber of Commerce. Right. So you work with, I mean, a lot of different entities around the area, not just the schools, not right. just the businesses, but chambers and everything else. Right. So that's where it kind of gets tricky. We are actually, my salary is actually paid from the schools. Um, however, we are contracted under Lebanon Regional Economic Development as well as the chambers. And so I'm kind of an umbrella under them um, because I do work for the workforce and I work in the community. Um, and that's where the business partners are kind of my, you know, revenue. Um, and I'm trying to build that bridge between business partners and the schools. Okay. Your title is coordinator. Right. What, what does that mean? That, I mean, that can probably encompass just about everything, right? right? So um, it's kind of like one of those descriptions of um, everything else included. <laughs> so <laughs> it gives me my description and then I just keep going. Um, <clears throat> so coordinator, which means... Uh, I set up business partners as far as public speaking. I set up rotations. I give the facilitators, which is our two teachers, um, different you know business partners. We have kind of a running list um, of business partners. And then at that time, the six to eight weeks boot camp, which is an intense boot camp for our students, 
Then after that, they get set up in rotations, and then they get, to, they get to pick seven rotations throughout the school year, and then we work on a capstone. And then in the summertime, I also send about 30 teachers out in our workforce just to see what kind of jobs are out there as well. So I'm coordinating between the business partners and the teachers. I'm also coordinating between the teachers, getting them out in the summertime, and I'm also coordinating with our capstone event in May. Do you enjoy it? I love it. Really? I absolutely well, that's love great, it. man. I love it. Sounds like it'd be a little too much work for me. Right. I like sitting here and talking to you. About right. It, you know. I'm definitely not the person that sits behind a desk and just <laughs> types all day. So. So this this uh, you talked about a uh, was it an eight week boot camp? Right. What do you what do you teach the children the students there? So what business partners have said in the past is they've struggled with um, you know the young this generation I don't know what you you know want to call it the the, the gen. Uh, Z, I think, is what this generation is, or the millennials, um, but they don't show up, or they show up late, or they just don't respect other people's time, or they don't know business professional, um, shaking hands, eye contact. I mean, I can just go on and on and on. Right. Um, so we just do handshakes, interviews, resume writing, um, public speaking. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Basics. That's very cool. That Basics. I mean, that is it's really <clears throat> right. needed today, isn't right. it? Right. It's very needed. Yeah. Very, very needed. Okay, this is fascinating. We're yep. getting to know more about Go Caps Lake Region. That's in our area here with the coordinator, right. Ann Hopper. And we'll have more right after this. Your car wants to look its best. The paint, the trim, the wheels, the tires. They want to show off in all of their sparkling glory. Let your car shine with the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For one low price, you can let your car strut its stuff anytime you want. Your car will thank you. Welcome to the club. Quick car. Quick, easy, and professional every time. In Jefferson City and Osage Beach. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Discovered over a century and a half ago, Bridal Cave continues to amaze those who venture through it. As you tour through Bridal Cave, you'll see massive onyx formations, giant columns, and the one and only Mystery Lake. Bridal Cave's unique stalactite-adorned Bridal Chapel has provided a truly unique backdrop for over 3,000 couples from around the world. Bridal Cave is open daily, rain or shine. Guided tours leave every few minutes. Come explore the lake's favorite natural attraction. Explore Bridal Cave today. Welcome back to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. We're getting to know more about Go, uh, Go Caps Lake Region today with coordinator Ann Hopper and uh, based out of Lebanon, but really based out of the whole area because you work in right. the whole area. Right, that's why it's called Lake Region because yeah. it covers the whole region all the way from Conway um, to Lakeway to Camdenton. So. Yeah, it puts miles on the car, huh? It definitely does. <laughs> Absolutely. But you're familiar with the area. Right. I mean, it's not like you are so, a transplant from somewhere, somewhere else, right? Right. Right. I was, so I was kind of born and raised in Lebanon, Missouri, um, moved to Tomahawk. Um, my dad was in the military, so I um, had to move up there whenever he'd passed away. And so I came back um, after that. And then, of course, I had my kids. And then it, whenever you have kids, you're just, you know, you stay where your kids are. So mm -hmm. um, so then I've been here since. So like I said, we live in Lebanon, but we are always at the lake, always on the water, love the lake. Um, so definitely I know the area very well. Cool. Very nice. Okay. And you mentioned earlier Go Caps has been around for five years. Now, is that for the whole program or just in the local area? So for our Lake Region area, this will be starting our fifth year. Okay. Um, for Springfield, it's eight years. For uh, Overland Park, which is called Caps Network, um, I think it's either 10 or 11 years that okay. they've been started. So. Seems like it's been a success. Absolutely. It's grown to about 14 states and two countries. Wow. It's definitely growing. That is big. Okay, so uh, have tell us about the successes that you've seen. What kind of successes are we talking about? So, for instance, um, we've had one student uh, do a capstone project at Bennett Springs State Park as an oxygenator tank for the trout. Um, he is currently at Mizzou, and they're actually getting a patent on his oxygenator wow. um, tank, and so he's doing all the research for that. So that's been a, a, a great connection. 
Um, we had one business student just getting her real estate license and nice. her business degree. She's working um, under the Matt Ford Keller Williams team. Um, and then we also had one go to MTI for her dental assistant program, and now she's going to OTC for the dental hygienist, and she's working at Jordan Valley. Um, we've got another one that went off for a missionary trip, and he's working, um, he's a Canterton student, and he was offered to work in the engineering department at Independent Stave Company. So, I mean, I can just keep going on and on. Like I said, that within the last five years, um, I've got a list of students and their success stories. I just it, love it. You really do change lives, don't you? Absolutely. I mean, there that's, is, that's very cool. Right. And there has been some testimonies that, that has been first-generation students, and they just connected with that one mentor, and that's all they needed. You know, that one mentor that believed in them. And yes, it's, it's definitely more than just a career path. It's a life changing. Sometimes it's just, it literally is one moment in your life that makes the difference. Right. Where somebody comes in, I mean, I remember in high school, it was like a, I don't know what they call the weekend uh, job fair thing, but they sat down with you to do mock job interviews. Right. And they said, what do you want to do? And just, you know, well, I think I want to do this. And right. so we talked about it and I went home thinking, well, heck, I can do that. Right. right? right. I mean, sometimes it's just one of those moments. Right. Um, for example, last week we had uh, Heartland Helicopters. They came and spoke and the uh, gentleman that owns Heartland Helicopters had a terrible childhood, terrible, terrible childhood. Um, and he told his testimony to those students and he said, you know, I started as an EMT and now I own one of the biggest helicopter schools in the nation yeah. you know and he said so that just shows to prove you, to you that whether you hate school or whether you had a bad childhood it doesn't define who you are and you can you know connect with that mentor and move up and that's what he did he connected with Plato uh, the fire station in Roby which is a very if you don't know where Plato at is that it's very very tiny area yeah. um, but he connected with a mentor that believed in him and that's and now look at him I mean yeah it's a, a huge success story fantastic okay so what do you need to grow more? Obviously, this is a huge program that changes lives, very right. important for students. What do you need to keep growing? Do you need more businesses to work with? Do you need more students? What do you need? I can honestly say, I mean, we'll always take businesses, of course. Um, the community honestly has been absolutely outstanding. Um, we have docks, docking businesses, uh, manufacturers, and hospitals. and So the community is great. They've been over abundantly helping us ready to, to partner. Um, student numbers, I would love to see them grow. So if parents is watching this or, you know, owners of businesses that have kids that are that have junior and seniors in the Camdenton schools um, or Richland or, you know, wherever you come Anywhere from. Anywhere around the lake. How right. about, I mean, because Lake TV is seen really all over Missouri. Right. How about outside of the lake region? That's maybe not for them, but in the lake region. The, the thing about it is, is yes, in the, the lake region, um, because the schools will pay for that tuition, so they right. get to be in the program for free with the school. Um, so yeah, definitely, like I said, we've only got 100 seats. Um, we've grown from about 37 seats to about 65 seats that's full, um, with that being 30 seats left. So I mean, we're almost maxed out, yeah. um, but I definitely will take more students, and I would love to get that out. Man, that is fantastic. Okay, so are you nonprofit? Are you for profit? We are nonprofit. Nonprofit. Okay, right. so you're not in this to make a huge amount of money. Right. You're in this to help. Right. How can people help you right. uh, if you need volunteers or contributions or whatever? Um, we really don't take contribu contributions or anything to help me. The only thing that they could help me is to, like I said, take a student on, you know, take that mentorship and, and help that student or open up your doors for a tour or maybe be a guest speaker. Um, so we kind of take volunteer work more than money because okay. like I said, it is funded through the, the public schools. So, I mean, in a roundabout way, your taxes are paying for, you know, my salary still because it is funded through the schools, but it's definitely a great program and it's, you know, in hopes to help in workforce. Okay, and where can people get more information? We just have a few seconds left. Where can people go to get more information or contact you? Okay, so they can call me at 417-991-2312, or they can go on our website, which is www.gocapslakeregion.com. Gocapslakeregion.com. Right. And can they ask for you? Absolutely. Wow, okay, well there you have it. That's Ann Hopper, coordinator, Go, uh, Go Caps Lake Region. That's kind of hard to say. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> You're welcome, thank you for having me. All right, and thank you so much for joining us here on Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show.